This is DC Dan and Crow Crusader. Here's our poster. I already hung one down there. And uh, I have two more to hang. And uh, yeah, it's kind of windy. So Bryant's just not up to it. Um, I met a really nice uh, woman here at the church. Alfreda is her name. And uh, she just gave me some very, very bad news that her cancer came back. And uh, wow, there couldn't be a nicer person on this planet to tell you the truth. So it's just unbelievable. Actually, I'm not doing a good job here. Uh, I really need someone to hold the tape, but Bryant's not up to it. Okay, I'll have to do it as best as I can by myself. Okay, do one at a time here. It's just so cold. So incredibly cold. There you go. Who knows how long it's going to stay on. Somebody who hates birds or, or someone who's involved in this fiasco will tear it down. Or one of the bird haters will tear it down. But, uh, but yeah. We have to, I think it's, it's more about I can't stop the birds from going on the field. Uh, but I try to put it in spots where there's not quite as much poison, but you see that they're, you know, poking around on the uh, on the other field there in the middle, which isn't a good thing. But I can't stop it. Um, it's too late for that. It's been on here several days now. So, but I can warn the people now that I know what it is. Now that I've investigated it. Uh, now I can warn the people who have dogs who walk here to be careful not to let their dogs walk on the field. Uh, because it's still here. It's dispersed on the surface, but it's still here on the grass and on the earth. And uh, if they step in the mud, they'll get it on their paws. They lick their paws. Uh, they'll get sick. It's just as simple as that. Um, which is why this type of fertilizer is not used in gardens and so forth where there are children playing, where there's pets roaming around. They don't have, they don't use this. Okay, it's different with golf courses and so forth. Um, or small lawns. And uh, just not used, certainly not used in agriculture. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you know that it's not healthy to put it down on uh, grass where you want to encourage the growth of, of all the different types of grasses and weeds and different types of things that constitute sil silage for cows. Hey, whoops, the yeah, wind is strong, wind is strong. I don't know how long this will stay up. So the coated plastic covering, looks like I got it on my shoulder from Seagull. Uh, but I got to do steam cleaning today in the apartment. I steam clean all the kitties baskets and all of that to keep them very clean and the hair away. And, uh, I'll do my jacket as well because it's the only really winter jacket I have <laughs> that fits me and uh, yeah there we go the stuck tape is pretty good it's pretty pretty good so another little piece here and uh, yeah, at least we're warning the people with dogs and uh, that's all we can do. 
I've done this so many times in the past where I found poison. Um, but this is different because there it was just certain certain areas and here it's the whole field. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's done. Here we have it on our post here. Uh, most of the people start here because here's the container to put the little dog poo in. So, yeah. There's a little pulse over there. Um, wow. It really is cold. I can't feel my fingers. It's freezing outside. So, anyway. Um, Seymour did not show up today. Of course, our little Charlie showed up. I think we'll go park there for a while, for a few minutes. And then uh, we've got a lot of work to do today. I got to try and uh, set up that animal shelter for a little kitty cat. I fed kitty cat this morning, so he's okay. Uh, really took a turn for the worse last night. He threw up. Um, and I thought it was really going to be, he wasn't going to eat or drink again. And then I had to run off to the vet. I have an appointment actually on Tuesday. So for, you know, to to control and look at his, uh, his gums and so forth and uh, overall health and any other issues I have with him. And, um, and then, I don't know, he, uh, I started, you know, trying to encourage him to eat. He started hiding away. Uh, I, I encouraged him to come out of his hiding place. And I just, this went on for hours last night. So I finally got him to eat, start eating. And then that was the turning point. And uh, uh, it's very, very hard. Um, but uh, I think he's going to be okay. This is DC Danton Crow Crusader over and out and wishing you a great Sunday.